This is Lesson 7 of the Subnetting.net video series on how to subnet. This lesson covers answering subnetting question type 2. For a refresher of the three subnetting question types, go to Lesson 6. Now here's Kevin demonstrating with an example. Enter the maximum number of valid subnets and host per subnet that you could get from the network 192.168.1440-26. This is a question type 2. The first thing we have to determine is the classful mask. In this case, it is a class C. It can be helpful when you are still learning to write out the class C default mask in binary and the new mask, or in this case, slash 26 in binary as well. Since we are going from a slash 24 to a slash 26, we are only interested in the fourth octet. The new network bits, or ones, represent the valid subnets and the host bits or zeros represent the hosts per subnet. In this case we have two subnet bits and six host bits. We'll do the subnets first. Simply count the new network bits and find that number in the bits column. Parallel to that is the number of subnets. There are four valid subnets. Finally we'll do the same thing for the hosts. Count the host bits or zeros and find that number in the bits column. Parallel to the bits is our number. 64 minus 1 for the broadcast address and minus 1 for the network ID leaves us with 62 hosts per subnet. That's our answer. We have 4 valid subnets and 62 hosts per subnet. To make sure it's clear, let's go through the question one more time, but for a slightly different network ID and subnet mask. Enter the maximum number of valid subnets and hosts per subnet that you can get from the network 150.168.0.0/21. Since the first octet of our network is 150, we know this is a class B address. If you need a refresher on the class ranges and default subnet masks, check out lessons 4 and 5 and write down the classes on your cheat sheet as shown. We can see that class B begins at 128 and class C begins at 192, so the range for B is 128 to 191. Our IP begins with 150, so that tells us we are in the class B range. Our class B address has a default subnet mask of slash 16. If we write that out in binary, it looks like this. 32 minus 16 leaves us 16 bits to work with, which are represented by zeros. Since our subnet mask is slash 21, 32 minus 21 is 11. That means we have 11 host bits, and 16 minus 11 is 5 subnet bits. So our 5 subnet bits, or network bits, tells us there are 2 to the 5th power, which is 32 valid subnets. 11 host bits tells us there are 2 to the 11th power, or 2048 minus 2, equals 2046 valid hosts per subnet. Don't forget that we always have to subtract 2 from the hosts to account for the reserved IP addresses of the network ID and the broadcast address. This is the end of Lesson 7, which showed you how to solve subnetting question type 2.